this is the pair of nightstands that I'm going to be showing the tutorial on today, but this is my most requested, fastest selling, and it's extremely forgiving, um, this particular finish. So I use it all the time, especially if something has a little bit of damage or if it's a cheaper piece of furniture like Ikea. This finish works so well, and it doesn't take me any longer to do it than just painting a dresser white. So. I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel, add this technique to your arsenal if you like to flip furniture for profit or for fun, and let's just get started. First thing I'm going to do, I removed those little weird gold things and I am filling it in with wood putty. Priming here with my Zinser primer. You can use this straight out of the can, or a lot of times I'll get it tinted in the color Open Canyon, which is the color I am using for my base. And I just give it a really light coat of primer all over. The paint color that I'm using is by Bare Paint um, and Primer in One, and it's the color Open Canyon. But honestly, you could use any taupe or sort of a yellowish color um, for your base coat. So don't stress about getting the exact color. After your paint is dry, it is time to apply the gel stain. I'm using the color Briar Smoke by Verathane. It is a nice brownish gray color. I'm using a cheap little brush and a whisk broom, and I'm also using a larger deck staining brush that's um, kind of wide, just about as wide as the um, little broom is. You'll wanna give your gel stain a nice stir. Sometimes it separates. And then you'll be applying it with the cheap little brush first. I like to kind of get it on there first with the cheap little brush and then I use the bigger brush and then I use the broom and if I feel like it's too like this too intense the stripes the the, the texture that it creates then I'll soften it out with the bigger brush. So first get it on there with the little brush and then you can wipe away the excess. I used to wipe it away with a paper towel and I have a whole video where I show you guys this process and I did it with paper towels, but as time has gone on, I've found that using the larger deck staining brush helps me smooth out the finish and is a little bit less um, work on my part. So I like using that even though I have to clean it afterwards. You can see it's just big and fluffy and it smooths everything out nicely. You could even just use the deck staining brush and forego the broom altogether, but I feel like the broom really gives it that texture that makes it look like, it just gives it a very special finish that looks super professional.
I generally do the brush strokes with the broom and the paintbrush in the direction that I imagine the wood would be going. Um, it's pretty forgiving either way though, so just trying to keep the lines straight, whether you're going vertical or horizontal, just trying to make sure that the lines are as straight as possible. And um, this is an oil-based finish, so it'll take a little while to dry. I just leave it out in my garage and um, try not to mess with it. It usually takes about a day to dry for me, but it might take longer in your climate. And then you can go in and do a top coat. The great thing about it being oil-based is it's really going to be stuck on there and it's going to last a very, very long time. Now make sure and stay with me here because I'm going to show you guys the handles and also how to do the top, which I feel like tops of dressers can really show whether you are like an amateur or a pro. So the thing that you want to think about is making sure and getting nice long stripes and strips across the top for your finish. It doesn't matter when you're first getting it on there and you've got a lot of open work time with it being a um, oil-based stain. It's not going to dry up on you too quickly, but that all the way from one side to the other side is very important. These take about a day to dry in my garage and then I go back out and do a little bit of dry brushing with a color called French Silver and it is, I just buy a little paint sample at Home Depot in the um, whatever brand paint sample they sell. And then I just kind of dab, 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 and then swish it around. That is just kind of creates a little bit more um, dimension and depth, but it is totally optional. They look great before I add that step to it. I just generally add that step. I'm going to be doing this same exact finish but in a more like warm wooden color because a lot of people have been requesting the Pottery Barn Sea Drift I think it's called. So I'm going to be doing a finish on that really soon. So make sure and subscribe and you'll be around for that. This Wipe On Poly is indestructible. It is the strongest top coat I've ever used and I love using it on high use areas. These are nightstands, so I'm sure people are gonna be putting drinks on them and books and jewelry. So I just like to do the tops with the, um, with the Wipe On Poly. You could do the whole thing with the Wipe On Poly if you just wanna buy one product, but I like to save that for tops. And then for the body, I generally use a water-based matte poly acrylic. And I will also go over the top with the matte wipe on poly too just because it makes my entire piece look really matte and have zero shine to it and I just personally like that finish but I've used the wipe on poly and left it shiny too for a couple tabletops and that looked really good as well so it's a personal preference. If you've stuck around this long, I'm guessing that you are either a professional furniture refinisher or aspiring to be one, or you just paint a lot of stuff in your home and you really want to nail this finish. Either way, I'm grateful that you are here. Make sure and subscribe because I post weekly videos like this. And like I said in the beginning, I refinish furniture for a living, so I share pretty much everything. And you guys can always ask any question you want in the comments. I'm a small channel and I'll answer every single one of them. <laughs> This particular finish that I'm doing on the hardware, these hardware are not the style, you know, that is cool right now, or at least not for what I'm going for in these nightstands. And so I will paint them in that same French silver color. And then I use this little bronzy color that I found at Michael's. Um, I'll try and link everything that I have used. And then I'll use a black color and just... It's not the exact same color as the nightstands because that would look weird. Um, it just gives a little bit contrast. So I find that it works. You could probably use the French silver and then use the gel stain if you wanted to not buy so many products. If you're just doing this for like one piece. But if you are a furniture refinisher and adding this um, finish to your lineup, these... I <laughs> These products last forever especially the gel stain I did so many pieces with my gel stain and I feel like it's cheaper doing this particular finish than painting something white that's just my opinion but yeah this is how it turned out I'm super happy I hope that you guys learned a lot and I'm glad that you're here bye